Right, good morning everybody. Um, I know what I want to say, but I'm trying to get organised here. Right, the videos have been going up on my blog for the past weeks and weeks and weeks. This work has been a constant in those videos, so if you, I'll, I'll try and remember to link to them. But basically, these pieces, this is two pieces joined together. Okay, um, so, yeah, right. And this is the next piece I've started. They're inspired by some design work I did earlier in the year and at the end of last year, which is these sheets here, okay. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. So I'm taking elements off all these sheets and not recreating it, but being inspired by it to create these pieces. And then as I was sorting through my stuff the other day, well, wait a minute. So, and I also thought, so these papers are created using fine Japanese tissue papers. Okay, so this is one of the ones that I use. It's got a little daisy on it. This is another one that I use. It's got a bit of a sheen on it. And I really love this one. Um, that one is here and it's got a silk velvet stitched into it. So because of the silk velvet and because of its similarity to something that I create with fabric called lace cloth, I thought, hmm, get some lace cloth. Maybe to use to back these, I don't know. But I do have, I did have this bit that I'd already made. So this is lace cloth, okay, I make this myself in the same way I make the fabric. And then I thought, during the process of this design work, I stitched more papers, but what I did was I took pictures of these design sheets and printed them out and then over stitched them. So this is printer paper. It's not cheap printer paper, it's layered printer paper, which is more expensive, but it ex responds beautifully to the sewing machine. So I took pictures of the design sheets and this is those and these are stitched over. So I thought maybe they could also feature on here. These bits that you see here of paper, they're torn out of a magazine, but perhaps this would work well as well. And this is another piece that I did. So what I wanted to do was just try and tear a little bit off and see if I could make it live. Just really, no stitching, just visuals. Um, now it may be that it's too harsh and too prominent, but say I've got a little thing of fabric there, maybe if it came out from under there. It does add more interest. And again, I've said this before, I've got two pin pillows. And one of them is pins for paper and the other is pins for fabric. Now these are just fabric pins, but I use them for paper. And using your fabric pins on paper will dull them and blunt them. So I would advise keeping separate pin cushions for each. So paper and my other ones for my fabric, okay. So if I pin that on there, that might work, okay. And then get another bit just to balance it out. Now I have to be careful, this often happens, you think you've finished a piece and then you want to go back and add something, but the bigger this gets as I join more pieces on, the more difficult it's going to be to get to the centre. So I need to be more decisive. So if that was there, maybe not there, just trying to balance it out really. Um, <clears throat> maybe there under those bullion loops like that maybe, but it's too close to those now. Mm -mm -mm. I've got a tiny bit of lace there, I don't want to obscure it. Um, so maybe, um, I don't know, it might have to go over here, or maybe just one I'll have to do, because I can't, um, I could maybe put it at the top, maybe that's the wrong, maybe that's the wrong shape, maybe I need a smaller bit. Just a case of playing with things and moving things about. That's better over there. So put that one on there. So I will stitch those down um, at some point. Now when it comes to the lace cloth, I could very easily, on these islands of silk velvet, uh, that's, that's too big, I'm going to sneeze, hang on a minute. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I could put these on. Because it's not going to get wet at any point, but also on one of these design sheets, I've got 
well on a few of them cigarette silks okay no cigarette silk they're beautiful i love them i've got loads they come in these little envelopes like these little books um okay and i keep the books as well because they're lovely in sketchbooks and i think i've said that before so i'm not going to really go with the paper on there i think i'm going to cut up a cigarette silk bit of harsh colours though. I've used quite a lot of what I had um, so I'm left with really harsh colours to be honest. I need to buy some more. Mm. Might have to go with one of these. Um, oh that blue's quite subdued. So you just take them out. So if I cut this one I only need a small piece. Now I've left my fabric pins in the house um, so I'll have to use my paper pins for this so I've just contradicted myself but never mind. So let's just see. So if I, it might actually be better to put them between the velvet. I think it's too big unless I find a big bit of velvet. They're all much of a muchness. Um, if I trim it, so I'll put that on there. Now I don't know that this will work, I don't know if I like this, it's just playing when I'm trying to get ideas, you know. But then I do quite like the thought. Maybe the thing is that these papers are quite muted, whereas this one, say, isn't. So it might be that I'm going to go back to the magazine and see if I can find one and put them on here. Um, where's the other bit of cigarette salt? This is, you see, you get caught up in everything and you can lose stuff all the time. There it is. I think I might be going back to the magazine to look for little bits of paper. And it might be that I don't use this with this, but I'm thinking when I've pieced it together and it's big enough, I'd quite like to back it. And I think backing it with this would make it more substantial as well. Um, and I mean this feels beautiful in your hand this feels beautiful in your hand I don't want to detract from that but I'm thinking it might just enhance the feel in your hand so if I was to pin this together now just roughly and then see if I could get a sense of how it might feel in my hand Yeah, it doesn't detract. It's just lovely. I, can't, I wish you could all come around and feel it. You'd have to wash your hands first, of course. Um, but yeah. So what I think I'll do, and I apologise, I don't... Actually... And then don't forget, these are going to be edged. These areas of silk velvet are going to be edged, so that will make a difference. So if, for example, if I show you on here... So here, they're edged with French knots, and then there's coloured stitching in the center might completely transform it if i did that so i'll keep you posted on that what i might do is work some on this tonight and then come back on sunday um, and do a little video of what i've done and how i've progressed it so it was just i felt a need just for a little chat and a, and a kind of explanation of where i'm going and why i'm going in that direction um so i'll have to leave it at that but yeah, I'm sorry if I'm leaving you hanging, but I will come back on Sunday and let you know how I've got on. Okay.